Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this impossible endless vertex in Affinity Designer. This figure is made of two spirals that are in opposite directions and they appear connected to each other in the area here, therefore creating what appears as an endless vertex. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new document. We give it A5 in Dimensions and we set it in Landscape Orientation and we set the document units to Pixels and we click on Create. And then we go to view guides and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we are going to start drawing the figure. We take the ellipse tool, we set the fill to none, the stroke to black, and we set the stroke width to 0.5. And then we go ahead and we draw an ellipse. And we set its size to 500 by 500 pixels. And then with the move tool, we center it on the vertical axis. And we set its lower edge to the horizontal axis, like this. And then we go here to enable transform origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And then we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate. So we are going to need 24 circles overall. So we set the numbers of copy to 23. And here the rotation angle we set it to 15. Has uh, 15 times 24 equal 360. And then we we'll click on OK. So that creates our first torus-like shape. And then we we'll click on Ctrl A to select all the circles in the selection. And then we we'll go here to divide to break all the elements into pieces. And now we are going to take the Shape Builder tool. We set the action to plus and we are going to connect the spirals. We are going to connect the branches of the spiral. So it must go like this. Be sure not to forget any piece in the branches when we connect them. So this is the most tedious part. So now we take the move tool. Once we have selected all the branches of the spiral, we select one branch out of two while holding shift, like this. And we set the fill color to black. Then we'll select the remaining branches. So like this, it must be one out of two. And the fill color to black. And then we are going to select the remaining branches. So you must hold shift while you do this. And we set the fill color to white. So now we've completed our first spiral. We select all the elements of the figure and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. And now we are going to shift the spiral to the left. So we need to shift the spiral by 250 pixels to the left. So here in the transform panel to the X value, we subtract 250 pixels. So that brings the spiral 250 pixels to the left. And then we select the spiral. We press Ctrl G to duplicate it. And then to duplicate its spiral, we flip it horizontally. And then we bring it to the bottom of the composition. And now in the transform panel, in the X axis, we add 500 pixels. So that brings the spiral 500 pixels to the right. So now we have both spirals in position as we need them. And now we need to rotate them a bit to make sure that the transition between both spirals is a smooth one. So here we select this spiral here and we rotate it a bit. So here in this area here, there must be a smooth transition to the branches of the spirals. So this is important. And then once we have done it, we select the first spiral and we hide it. And now we have only the spiral on the right that is remaining. And then the last step, we need to select the branches, the branches here on the lower left side. So we select the branch here. 
the branch here, the branch here, and the branch here. So one, two, three, four branches overall that we need to select. And then we go here, we bring them to the front of the group, and then we bring them out of the group, and we bring them to the very top of the composition, like this. And then lastly, we can unhide the first spiral. So now it appears as if the branches are above of the first spiral. And this is what creates the smooth transition between both spirals, as you can see. Maybe we can rotate it a bit more. To make sure that uh, it appears as if the transition is smooth here. Alright, so this completes the figure. You learn how to create an impossible endless spiral in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!